Hello everyone, I'm AZ Crafts and today I'm going to show you how to make this angry rabbit. Look at how angry he is. You know why he's angry? He's angry because you haven't been liking and subscribing on my videos. So like and subscribe to make this rabbit happy. There's some, there's some, there's two cool things this angry rabbit can do. First, it can become a monster mouth and eat you whole when you're annoying it. Look at the monstrosity. Don't try to mess with it. Or it will be a funeral. <laughs> Second. It can be a tray to keep small things inside. It can be a tray to keep small things inside like coins, safety pins, and many other things. Isn't it cool? Don't you want to learn how to fold it? Well, I know you already do. So let's get started. Yeah, let's get started. Let's go! Let's go. Okay, so you, if you want to make this or Era Gaming Angry Rabbit, you're going to need a 15 by 15 um, square sheet of paper, okay? Now, now let's do book fold. Open. Book fold again. Now here, okay. Now here comes the book fold on the existing crease. Do the same here. No, I don't do the same there. Yet. Now just, now just open this flap and fold it to this line like over here. This step's a little tricky. So it's okay if it takes you a few time. If it, uh, it's okay if it takes you a while to get it. It took me. It'll take you. Okay. Press this down. I'll just press down here. Now just press this down. Okay. okay, now that we're done with one square, you just need to do it to all the rest of the squares. This here, and I'll just this step. Okay. I mean, you need to do. I mean, the the starting is a bit tricky. Well, it's not actually a bit tricky. Look, you mean I? Uh, you're thinking you have to do this fold on all the four sides. I know, right? It's, the beginning is giant. And we're done. Okay, we're done. Okay. Now, okay. 
then these flaps I'll just fold in here. Let's touch the good point. Okay. Peel. Here. Yes. Look at that. Done with. Now do the exact same thing. Let's do the same. Okay. Okay, we're done with this. This. You see, these are the eyes and the ears. Okay. Now, just pull this flap. And now, put your finger, pull this flap, finger in and press it down. Now just op open this flap and repeat the exact same thing. Okay, you've done it on both sides. Okay, you've done it on both sides here. Just need to do it both sides here. Okay. Now open this. Then now I just press it right here. Okay. So we're all done with these, huh? Okay, just now just fold these this flap. Yeah. Now just fold both of those flaps here. And now just fold these down. Oh, and by the way, doesn't this model, like, remind you of something? Hmm, it reminds me of something. Same origami. Let me think. Ah, oh, yes. It reminds me of Jeremy Schaefer's Inflatable Rabbit. Go check that video out. It's kind of similar to it now that I realize. Okay, so you see, these are the teeth. Now, this fold a little bit tricky. It took me a few times to finally get it. Now put your finger in this and do the same as we did to this. You will see this has became like shorter. Now just. You've seen this has become shorter, right? Okay. Now the thing you have to do is just press it down. See? Okay, it kind of looks like a rabbit, doesn't it? Now just repeat and make sure the flaps aren't that big. They have to be small so they don't cover up the teeth. 
That's something you have to be really careful with. Okay. Okay. So. Okay, let's remove. Okay. Now just adjust the teeth a little bit. Make sure it's showing out. Just pull it out. Anything can happen, especially to the teeth. Okay. Just keep folding it over a couple of times to make it proper and make sure to press the folds. Pressing is as a, almost as important as a folding. Okay. So we've got the, the rabbit teeth. So we've got the little rabbit teeth. We've got the little rabbit face. You might be thinking, we're done, right? Well, not exactly. You have to do one final little step. Just do what I do. Okay, just open this lap and press it down here. We're doing this so that uh, it uh, makes the eyes uh, come out and it makes it look a little more realistic. You can do this if you want, but if you just want to leave it like this, I don't mind. You do whatever you want. I mean, it's my video, but it's your paper, your model. And uh, if you want to make it look more realistic, uh, folding these flaps uh, also uh, still keeps uh, the rabbit ears from coming down a bit. So it uh, uh, will make it look a little more realistic. Okay. So just uh, press the folds. Press. It. we are it looks so angry sorry for the wait i'm just adjusting some of the folds especially the teeth okay so we're done now let me show you how to transform these okay if okay first uh, transformation is the monster mouth Pull these flaps out. Yes, pull these flaps out. Now make sure that these flaps are behind. These flaps are closed and they're touching the ears. We try to teeth in this part. Don't make it go open like this. It doesn't show and like that. And now, behold. Third transformation is actually pretty easy. Just open all the flaps. Make sure that these two flaps are 
well closed. See, the tray is complete as well. Okay, so we're done. We're done with the rabbit. Don't let origami angry rabbit. We're done. So I really hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Oh and uh, I suppose a bit oh and before I end this video I just want to see I just want to tell you about some channels to the origami channels to watch. First you should watch Art for Kids Hub. Second you should watch Right Brain. Third you should watch uh, um uh Jevinai Dal Kal Kal. Uh, watch him. And uh, and last but not least watch the King of Origami himself. No, not Joe Nakashimi. Also watch him out. Also check him out. Watch his channel. It's nice. I'm talking about the one and only. The channel that has sent a Roy can be showed a, between, a competition between. Uh, uh, the, uh, he had a competition between Joe Nakashimi and won. The center Roy can be made it. Uh, you might be thinking. But I know some of you are not. My idol himself, Jeremy Schaefer. Watch him. He's like the, my inspiration. So I recommend you check him out. Like his origami will inspire you too. I'm Ms. G Crafts. And I'm signing off. Goodbye. And I'll... Goodbye. Goodbye. And I'll see you next time. Until later, folks. Bye-bye.